It's sad when any of God's creatures passes away, but even more so when an entire race is wiped out. Extinction is an awful thing. Mm. Okay. And with that said, the animal kingdom is also kind of scary. And in times gone by, it was even more so. As awful as it may sound, there are some animals that we are glad don't exist anymore. I mean, seriously? The things were basically monsters. These are 20 terrifying animals you're glad are extinct. Number 20. Gigantopithecus the largest ape to ever walk the earth, Gigantopithecus, was a distant relation of the modern-day orangutan. But just how and why they died is still not totally understood. While there's not actually a huge amount known about this primate, what has been established is that these creatures were around 10 feet tall and weighed around 595 pounds so they would cut quite the imposing figure then. The fossils that have been found suggest that Gigantopithecus went extinct around 100,000 years ago in China, but unfortunately, there have been very few discoveries of these colossal creatures' skeletons. That might have something to do with the fact that their teeth used to be sold in pharmacies as dragon's teeth, this being a very popular traditional Chinese medicine for curing all kinds of ailments. It could simply be that most of the examples of Gigantopithecus teeth and jaws have been lost in the past through this pharmacy-based distribution system. Whoops! The teeth that have been discovered do offer some clues to the demise of this huge ape. Mm. Okay. It's believed that the wear and tear on the molars show that the animal ate a restricted diet of plants exclusively from the forest. But because of its massive size, its food requirements were great, and as their habitat shrank, so too did their food sources, and they simply died out because they were too big to be able to thrive. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. The image here shows an artist's recreation of a Leviathan, a genus of macroraptorial sperm, whale, and I'm happy that it's no longer around. Call me callous if you will, but look at the scale of the thing, nothing this big should exist. And if I could send a message into the past to this creature, I would say thank you for being extinct. Reaching a total length of 57 feet, these beasts would dominate the oceans roughly 9 million years ago, and it's thought that they would have even had a global presence, haunting all the world's oceans. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag SweetTopic. Number 19. Deodon. The Deodon, which means hostile teeth, also goes by the name Dinohias, which means terrible pig. If that gives you any sort of indication of what kind of monster this animal might have been. This creature is the oldest known entelodont, and that means hell pigs or terminator pigs. Animals with long sort of snouts and the sorts of teeth and such that we would associate with warthogs and the like. These animals had solid bodies like pigs, but they had weird long and skinny legs that really don't seem as though they could have been all that especially effective at supporting the colossal size of the creature balanced above them. Their skulls were about three feet long, and they had a massive jaw, which appeared to be equipped with space for very powerful biting muscles. They do have two types of teeth though, which usually indicates an omnivorous diet. Although they were pig-like, the jury is still out on whether they were actually related to modern-day pigs at all. They lived during periods which were about 29 to 19 million years ago in the area that is now known as North America. Number 18. Dunkleosteus. This terrifying monster fish was swimming around during the late Devonian period, which was about 350 million years ago. So there probably aren't any of these predators left out there, but has anyone actually checked? The catchily named Dunkleosteus was a biter, but rather than a regular mouthful of teeth, however, this prehistoric water dweller had two long blades made of bone that would break their prey in half and chop neatly through their flesh. 
This big fat fish also had the strongest bite of any fish out there, even more powerful than our modern day sharks. They had a bite force of an astonishing 8,000 pounds per square inch, which is two and a half times nastier than even our biting champion crocodiles can manage today. When that was combined with this mega fish's ability to create enormously powerful suction simply by opening its mouth and sucking the prey inside, well then it's easy to see what a deadly, efficient top tier predator that this creature really was. There were a bunch of fossilized evidence of the diet and behavior of this massive sea monster, and scientists believe that they would eat almost anything that came in their direction, which included each other. Yes, the psychos, as it turns out, were also cannibals. Number 17. Arctodus Sinus well now, this is a big bear from back along. It has more commonly been known as the short-faced bear, although the name Arctodus apparently means bear tooth, a cooler and likely more appropriate moniker for this extinct carnivore. Theories abound on the true nature of this big bear, but one thing that is generally agreed upon is that it was a carnivorous creature that was found all across North America during the Pleistocene period, and they weighed up to 1,700 pounds, having weirdly long legs. It is these gangly limbs that cause some of the confusion about this animal. Although there is no argument that it ate meat, some scientists believe that the diet of this bear suggests that rather than it being an effective predator, it was more than likely a scavenger. The general thinking is that the shape of this bear would have made it difficult for it to chase prey at speed. Its skinny legs would have been unable to turn while running without the risk of major injuries like broken bones, and a broken bone for a bear, well, that usually spells for death. So it's more likely that it would have been an opportunistic hunter, a scavenger, and very unfussy about what it ate in general. Its long legs, although not great in the hunt, would have been good for covering distances and seeking out sources of food all across hundreds of square miles. But just because this short-faced bear was not an apex predator, as we understand them, don't think for one moment that it couldn't kill you with one swipe of a claw and then munch through your bones with its super strong jaw. Yes, it's probably a good thing that this one isn't roaming around anymore. Number 16. Titan Boa now I hope you're not scared of snakes, because if you are, this one is going to give you a whole new nightmare to add to your great collection after watching our videos. This is no average serpent. Even the horror movie lengths imagined in Anaconda have nothing on the monstrous reality of this extinct beast. Based on the various fragments and partial skeletons that have been discovered, scientists now believe that the Titan Boa was as long as a school bus and weighed as much as a car. They inhabited tropical ecosystems in South America during the Paleocene era, which was after the dinosaurs themselves had gone extinct. Scientists believe that the enormous size of these snakes is a clue to the temperature during that period. They think that since cold-blooded animals are largest where the temperatures are the most hot at the equator, and the smaller they get, the colder the climate, that the Titan Boa was of such great size that it indicates that temperatures were likely 10 degrees warmer at the equator than they are today. This boa constrictor type snake crawled the earth a mere six million years ago, but is mercifully no longer with us. And at one and one quarter tons, this thing could just lay on you and crush you to death and wouldn't even need to give you a squeeze. Number 15. Bilza Bufu Ampinga. With a name that means devil frog, it's believed to have been the largest of any frogs that ever existed. They weighed about 10 pounds and grew to be about 16 inches in length, which for reference is the size of a beach ball. These massive amphibians lived on the island of Madagascar between 65 to 70 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. These days, the living relatives of these frogs are those that live in South America. These are apparently some very grumpy and aggressive creatures, and some scientists have even use these animals to determine that this may have been the case for the old devil frogs as well. These modern creatures are predators that are opportunistic hunters. They will sit and wait to snatch pretty much anything that just so happens to pass nearby. They assume that this behavior was similar for their prehistoric ancestors as well. They would have probably eaten anything from small vertebrates to even little dinosaurs. 
Number 14. Arthropleura And here we are, as promised, finally at a gigantic millipede. Well done for hanging on for all this time. I know this was what you've been waiting for. The Arthropleura lived in North America and Great Britain during an era known as the Carboniferous Period, and yes, this insect was a 20-foot-long millipede with a body that was made up of 30 armored plates and a pair of legs under each one. They ate dead wood and leaves and thrived due to the concentration of oxygen in the atmosphere on Earth during this time. This is what scientists believe actually caused these creatures to be able to grow to such a remarkable size. Without much in the way of vision, this monster insect probably had heightened senses of smell and touch so that it could find food and sense the other animals around it. Despite the fact that this was the largest invertebrate to have ever lived, it seems that the Arthropleura was a vegetarian, and the only thing to fear from this humongous animal is when it crawls across your face while you're sleeping. Number 13. Archelon the largest turtle that's ever existed, the Archelon, lived between 100 million and 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. Although it was a type of turtle, so to speak, it is not actually related to any of the species that we have on Earth today. These things weighed around 4,900 pounds and measured to be about 13.1 feet in length. They had a kind of leathery shell rather than a hard one, and that is likely this that made these turtles lightweight and would have helped them to save energy on long distances. They also sported a kind of hooked beak, you know, like a parrot, that they would have used along with their powerful jaws to crush their prey, which was likely to have included mollusks, cephalopods, and jellyfish. The fossils of these creatures have been found in the United States in South Dakota and Wyoming, which were covered by shallow seas back during these prehistoric times. Number 12. Gorgonops before there were mammals as we know them today, these sorts of creatures were a species of portomammal. Although in many respects, they may have been easily mistaken for dinosaurs, these were actually more closely related to mammals than to reptiles. They lived on Earth about 260 million years ago, before even the dinosaurs were at the top of the food chain. These creatures looked like a bizarre combination of a saber-toothed cat and a dinosaur. They had scary serrated teeth rather than those that dinosaurs had, but they also had other stuff that was distinctly more mammalian. Although these things were not actually in possession of dinosaur genes, they still managed to get some dangerous and meat-rippingly effective teeth that were just like those creatures. Apparently, this is the result of what is known as convergent evolution. This is when unrelated species exist in similar environmental conditions and then develop features as a result of that situation rather than a direct genetic inheritance. This development of these kinds of teeth in two distinct species has shown scientists that these were very effective tooth structures for the ripping and gripping of meat from the prey of these animals, hence their dominance of the food chain before the reign of the dinosaurs. Number 11. Brontornis burmasteri It's never a glowing review when you're known as the terror bird, so what exactly did these absurdly named creatures do to get such a title? Well, for starters, they were flipping enormous, measuring anywhere between 3.3 feet and 9.8 feet tall, and despite the fact that these birds could not fly, they were certainly no penguins. These colossal birds were apparently the largest apex predators in the whole of South America during the Cenozoic era, which was between 62 to 1.8 million years ago. But just how grim are this big bird's credentials? Well, you should certainly be glad that these things are extinct because they were absolute thugs. Massive and angry thugs. Despite the fact that they couldn't fly, these birds could almost certainly run, and very fast indeed. Once they would catch up to their prey, they then used a veritable smorgasbord of violent techniques to generally pummel the life out of the poor unfortunate creature within their grasp. They had a very large and pointy beak, but they didn't bite with them so much as jab, using their powerful neck muscles to peck. Their other signature moves would include kicking their prey with their massive feet and slashing at it with their talons. These monster birds were really rather despicable. Number 10. Helicoprion 
The scientists who have been trying to solve the puzzle of this bizarre creature known as the Helicoprion had been beavering away only to discover that some of the pieces were missing from the box and they might never be able to see the entire picture. As frustrating as that might seem, it has made for some extremely creative and interesting interpretations based on the fragments of fossils that have been unearthed from this creature. The name Helicoprion means spiral saw, and that is the main chunk of fossil that they were working with. Paleontologists eventually deduced that the circular saw-like thing that they had discovered was most likely positioned in the mouth of this weird sea creature. They decided that it was what they called a whirl-toothed ratfish, or a sort of shark. It's believed that this mystery creature first appeared in the oceans of Earth about 280 million years ago and hung around a while before finally going extinct sometime in the early Triassic period. Since no full-size complete skeletal fossils have ever been found, the idea of how this creature may have looked are all from the best informed imaginations. Do you have any ideas of where else this weird spiral saw might have been found and what purpose it served? Let us know all of your ideas in the comments section down below. Number 9. Megalodon are you scared of sharks? You might want to shut your eyes if you are. The Megalodon was bigger and badder than any of the species that we have in our seas today. The Megalodon was the most enormous shark that has ever lived, and it almost gets the trophy for one of the largest fish ever as well. It's reckoned that they measured between 15 and 18 meters in length, and that's between 50 and 60 feet, three times the size of the biggest recorded great white shark. Oh, and their teeth? Only about 7 inches long. And and they had 276 of them as well. They don't call this creature one of the megatoothed sharks for nothing, you know. The word megalodon itself means large tooth, so I think we all get the idea at this point. I, for one, am pretty relieved that these sea monsters are long gone, because I wouldn't fancy a paddle knowing that megalodons were sharing the water. But wait, there are some people out there who actually believe that they may not be quite 100% extinct after all. Although it may seem far-fetched, that prehistoric creature are still skulking around our seas. Has anyone actually checked all of the seas? Everywhere, that is? Probably not. So for now, let's just cross our fingers and think of rainbows and unicorns next time we take to the water. Number 8. Gigantic Aquatic Scorpion do you need some new nightmare fuel? Well, look no further. Here we have a gigantic sea scorpion. Yes, an 8 foot long insect with 1.5 foot long claws to climb into your dreamscape and give your slumber time a little extra something. This monstrous arthropod lived approximately 390 million years ago. The only other gigantic arthropod was a terrifyingly huge millipede like creature. But don't worry, we'll get to that one later on. This scorpion, despite Despite its name was actually really unlikely to have lived in the sea at all. Most of the fossils of this thing have been discovered within layers of rock from freshwater rivers and lakes. It is most definitely extinct, and no doubt you are very thrilled not to have to encounter insects that are taller than you, outside of your bad dreams, that is. Number 7. Megalania an extinct giant lizard, the Megalania, was native to Australia during the Pleistocene era, and you'd be somewhat deluded to think that there are any of these monster reptiles left roaming the Earth. But you just wait, because their close relatives are certainly still around, and they get pretty big themselves. Yes, these gigantic old-timey lizards are the forefathers of the Komodo dragon. Oh, how I love the Komodo dragon. Don't get me wrong, they make absolutely terrible pets. Not so cuddly, but they are very cool. So, you know, some stuff didn't make it, but then they paved the way for other creatures to bust on through and get involved in the distinctly not-extinct business of being the Komodo dragon. So, as it turns out, every cloud does have a silver lining, or perhaps a venomous one. Number 6. Host's Eagle this is an extinct species of eagle that was once native to New Zealand's South Island. In Maori history, it is generally believed to be the Pauakai of legend. In these myths, the birds would kill and eat human beings. Host's eagles are the largest eagle species that have been known. These birds were capable of killing a full-size moa, which was a large flightless bird. 
also extinct. That could weigh up to 510 pounds. These eagles became extinct sometime after 1350 AD. They feature in early Maori rock shelter paintings within the region. It was driven to extinction ultimately by overhunting and also as a result of many of its main prey animals being hunted to extinction simultaneously. Such is the lot of these creatures on this list. These massive birds, while they did exist, were the largest of the so-called true raptors. They are believed to have been as large as 22 to 33 pounds, the females were the larger of the birds, and their wingspans are estimated to have been somewhere in the region of 8 feet and 6 inches, with some examples growing to be as large as 10 feet. They would have used their large and pointy beak to tear into their prey, and then they would just let their victim bleed to death. There were no other massive predators in the area at this time, so the host's eagle did not need to worry about anything else attempting to take its dinner and could enjoy gorging on the animal's internal organs at their own leisure. Number 5. Mega Piranha Oh no, this is exactly what it sounds like, a big old gigantic piranha. And considering just how scary the regular sized ones seem to be today, it's probably for the best that these giant versions aren't still out there chomping on anything that's unlucky enough to pass their way. The Mega Piranha lived between 8 and 10 million years ago and was generally around 28 inches in length, weighing around 22 pounds. But there is evidence that they may have actually grown to be as long as almost 40 inches. They had a double row of teeth, unlike the single row that modern piranhas have today, but those teeth were just as pointy and definitely as bitey as anything a piranha has these days. Oh, and those contemporary piranhas generally only grow to be between 5 and 14 inches, but they do have a row of extremely sharp teeth and an infamously nasty bite. While it may be unlikely that they will swarm a human and strip them of their flesh, it is not uncommon for people to be bitten by piranhas, usually on their hands or feet. And while rarely fatal, it is very unpleasant pleasant indeed. The legends of these carnivorous fish are well known and they aren't completely unfounded. They're not exactly known for being pacifists after all. Number 4. Josefo Artagasia Monisi these days, the biggest rodent in the world is the capybara of South America. But back along, there was a rodent of such colossal proportion that it makes those creatures look kind of dinky. Skulls of these creatures have been found, measuring a terrifying 1.7 feet long. They're believed to have measured an astonishing 9 feet in length and were 5 feet tall, weighing as much as 5,701 pounds. That is a very massive guinea pig because that is essentially what these creatures were. They were herbivores from South America that lived in the estuaries and deltas of the rivers, much like the capybaras of today, and rather than appearing like rats or mice, these rodents had a distinctly guinea pig look. Yes, like my dearest pet Twinkle, they were also believed to be pretty mild-mannered, despite being in possession of such colossal teeth and a face that only a mother could love. But these creatures, they haven't been around for at least four million years. Number 3. Anomala Caris now, credit where credit is due, this is one weird looking creature, but before we get all judgy and make a load of assumptions based on its appearance, we should really find out if this long extinct animal was anything to actually be terrified about. First up, we have the name, Anomalocaris, which comes from the Greek, simply meaning unusual shrimp. It doesn't sound too scary so far, but then when you consider that this sea creature hasn't really been around in 530 million years, then you know it isn't much to spend your days worrying about. Finally though, it turns out that, despite those things, it was actually a pretty fearsome predator in its day. The unusual shrimp was also a badass. It grew up to 6 feet long, which is kind of big for a shrimp, and had a super sharp sense of vision which made it a proper scary prospect in those prehistoric waters. The shape of it was also well adapted to efficient hunting, with a kind of armored body that undulated to move through the water and a pair of grabbers at the front of its head. This shrimp could use its excellent eyesight to stalk prey silently and then grab a hold of it with ruthless speed. Once caught, the prey could then anticipate a rather unpleasant crushing to death in the shrimp's horrible mouth. Yuck! 
Despite all of its apparent excellent hunting skills and apparent body armor, the animal, however, did not survive the so-called Great Permian extinction when 90% of life on Earth went suddenly extinct. Sucks for them, but probably a positive for us humans today. Number 2. Megatherium a supersized sloth may not sound like the most terrifying of animals. I mean, these things are the cute and sleepy creatures that are often drawn as sweet little illustrations on greeting cards and baby clothing, aren't they? Well, the Megatherium was much less cute of a cartoon and more of a colossal carnivore, so put what you think you know about sloths to the side for a moment. Back around 5 million years ago, there was a very particular type of ground sloth that hung around in South America. These were up to 10 times the size of today's sloths, and they could weigh up to 4 tons. Yes, that's right, these things were elephant-sized. They also walked on their hind legs like people do, and this little fact makes it the largest upright walking bipedal mammal that has ever lived. Although not strict carnivores, the general shape and structure of the Megatherium would suggest that they likely hunted other animals as well as gathering food from their habitats. Despite how scary the sheer size of these sloths may seem, they did actually cross over with early humans for a while, and guess what? The sloth did not win. In fact, there is evidence that people were eating the Megatherium rather than the other way around, which is standard stuff, really. Number 1. Dinosuchus well, if this creature's name is anything to go by, we can all be happy that these things are not hanging out in our garden ponds. Dinosuchus comes from the Greek meaning terrible crocodile, and that really gets straight to the heart of the matter now, doesn't it? So what made this particular crocodile so very terrible then? Well, for starters, this thing was flipping massive. There are estimates that put the range of this monster croc to be anywhere between 35 to 45 feet long, and this was no skinny reptile either. These animals were colossal, and when you consider how very dangerous that a modern-day regular big crocodile is, you can only imagine what one of this size could do. The bite force of today's croc is the strongest that's ever been measured, at around 3,700 pounds per square inch, or enough to bite through steel. Three and a half times more powerful than even a lion can muster, and so, a monster-sized jaw? Well, the mind does boggle. Since fossils of these mega crocs have been found all over North America, it's safe to assume that if they had continued to exist and never gone extinct, then these animals would likely as not have eaten you if they encountered you in their territory. So be glad that all that is left behind now is their relatively small cousin, the American alligator. At least you stand a remote chance against one of those things. Although, they do get pretty large themselves since they never stop growing, and it's only their age that determines their size. So, are you glad that all of these creatures are extinct, and which one of these monsters is most likely going to be the one giving you the nightmares? As always, let me know all of your splendid thoughts in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.